morning and happy vlogmas 2022 so keeping it real this time <laughs> i have not got any makeup on at all this morning but i am going to put makeup on today because it's my podcast day so i'm going to put some makeup on and wash my hair so with any luck i'll click my fingers and i'll be dressed and ready to go there we go all washed <laughs> my hair's still wet but at least I'm clean and sort of ready to go. I'm going to do quite a bit of editing this morning. I've got some videos that I want to upload um, that go with a pattern, well two patterns that I'm releasing today. So I've got to finish editing those. I've got the setup um, ready to do the podcast here with the, the lights and um, sort of filtration umbrella etc. Um, so I've got that ready to go to film a podcast later and I've got to edit that as well. So it's a lot of busy day full of editing today and hopefully we'll start to get a little bit Christmassy a bit later on and see a little bit of Jensen. Adam's downstairs looking after Jensen at the moment um, but he should soon be in bed so best not disturbing him just before his nap. Um, when he wakes up I will go and see him. Okay, I may have just stolen some chocolates out of the chocolate box that we were going to fill the advent calendars with. Don't tell Adam, will you? It was a lint one as well. <laughs> now I've got my laptop out, I'm going to do the editing. So, here goes. Jensen's now awake and <laughs> he's wearing this little his reindeer outfit. Hopefully you can see. He's very interested in the camera. But he looks lovely and happy. Thank you very much, Jensen, for coming on camera. So Jensen, are you gonna wish everyone a happy Vlogmas day one? Yeah, you are. <laughs> All right. All right. What have you got there? Is it a lion? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Is that for me? Is that for me? Oh, we've fallen. <laughs> so I've blocked these cowls ready to show on the podcast today. So I'm just going to unblock them. You can probably hear the children's telly in the background because Jensen's in the playpen playing nicely on his own. So I can quickly do a job while he's occupied with his toys and the television. I can see him from where I am as well, which is good. There we go. So this will be black and white because this cowl is the one that's got the colours from this year's advent. I'll put that at a shot and then black and white um, can disappear and colour can resume. And you can see the one I've done in my never ending story colourway. So there we go, all ready to show on the podcast. So it is now much later in the day. It took me much longer than I thought to get the patterns uploaded to Ravelry and my website, etc. Get some photos taken and get all those videos edited for the little tutorials that go along with the patterns. So they're all done now, all ready and all up for sale. So that's good. Um, I've just got to do the podcast, but it's like four o'clock. So running a bit late today, so I'm hoping that I can get it done quite quickly. I haven't got loads to show on the podcast this week just because I've been working on the patterns, etc. They always take so much time, even in the evenings, making samples and things. So hopefully now, now I've finished the patterns, I'll be able to knit on all the things. Um, so 
now it's time to film the podcast. You can just about see here this mountain of yarn that I need to sort out tomorrow and actually skein and label it. But first of all, I've got to do the podcast. So here I have my light set up. You can see I shine the light up to the ceiling so it sort of bounces off the ceiling so it's not too bright here rather than shining it straight at my face. And I do the same with the umbrella as well. This is my tripod I use and the camera I'm using right now will be mounted right up here. And then I've got things I'm going to show on the podcast right in front of me. So I've got the samples for the cowl, the sock, a few new yarn colourways that are going in the shop this week. And I've got my project bags here to show what I've got on the needles at the moment because I've been working mainly on the samples. And then I've got my gadget for this week and it's also a uh, a bit of a confession so that's going to go on the podcast and I've got my blind down so you can see that it's now dark outside so normally I put my blind down to stop any glare and it's one of those just a filter blind rather than um, rather than having proper curtains and I find that that's good when it filters the light and I have like a nice um, a nice level of light um, when I'm podcasting and you can see that this is the normal view you have during the podcast. I've got a couple of other project bags there, actually. Those two have got yarn in and my other triangular blanket. I should, um, I shall show you that in another episode. But there we go. That is my setup for the podcast. So I better get on with the recording. Right, now, camera's in place. I'm just going to adjust these lights to make sure that I've not got too much glare. But I've got enough light... Um, to show my projects and I normally sort of put some yarn up just to see what the the light looks like on the project and adjust the camera there we go better get going time for some editing again so I finished editing the podcast I've got it rendering now which means it's just saving into the file format appropriate to upload into YouTube um, that's going to take a little while. It normally takes about double the length of the video. This week's video is only about 18 minutes, um, so it should be within an hour. It should be a, a rendered to the right file format, and then I can upload it to YouTube. It is already 25 past six, so I'm hoping that I can get it up not too late this evening. First of all, I've got to give Jensen a bath. Um, I'm not going to video that for obvious reasons, um, but hopefully after he goes to bed we can have a nice dinner and start opening advent calendars so i'll show you what advent calendars i've got as well so jensen's had his bath and he's having a nice drink and daddy likes to cover everything with cloths in case he chucks up <laughs> has to be safe <laughs> night night jensen oh. Getting very sleepy already. It wore him out having a bath. It's so my first advent to open. It's from Giddy Yarns and it comes with this lovely bag. It's one of those ones where you've got a drawstring and you can pop the bag when you're not using it into the little pocket and pull that closed, which I think is really cool. Um, her advent is all in these lovely little coloured. Um, little sweetie bags and I've got a Christmas day there as well. I had the 10 gram version of Giddy Yarn so they're the smaller 10 gram minis um, but I noticed there's a little sweet treats bag. Best if I don't open those yet because they will probably be consumed in the same day if I'm not portion sized. <laughs> so this is number one. Let's have a look what it looks like. That is pretty. So this is the first day and the theme of Helen's advent this year is golden ticket. Read along with your advent calendar. The list below lets you know which chapters to read and which yarn to open each day. Feel free to open your treats on any day you fancy. This year's colourway names were too long to fit on the yarn bands so in the envelope you'll find a list of colourway names to unfold each day oh the envelope so day one the the one thing he longed for more than anything else was chocolate oh yes 
<laughs> and that is beautiful. Thank you, Helen. So I didn't mean to buy any more Advents, but I bought the Fibre Fox one just because I really liked the theme. I can't remember what the title is now. It will say inside when I open it. So inside this box, there's a list of the title of the different yarns um, and they're all in little bags. So it comes with a little card. So day one. Ooh, we've got like a little gingerbread house and some stitch markers on there and the yarn is a gorgeous deep green with some black speckles on. That's lovely. And this yarn is called Magic Beans. So this advent was a yarn swap with my friend Jean that I do most years. We didn't do it last year though because I had a baby and did not have any time um, for opening advents up. <laughs> so I need to find number one. Ah, here we go. And this is a little Santa bag. Oh, we've got a sweetie and some lovely purple yarn. Jean's favourite colour is purple, so I feel very blessed for her to be gifting me some of her precious purple yarn and a quality street. Lovely. Thank you, Jean. So I decided to keep one of my own advent calendars for myself this year. This is a 24-day advent, and I've chosen to keep a Merino 10-gram version. So I do loads of different choices for advents, so it appeals to every sort of price range. So I do a 24-day or a 12-day one. And I do 10 gram or 20 gram minis in four different bases. So you've got the merino and nylon, merino, nylon, and stellina, BFL and nylon, all in fingering weight um, yarns or a DK merino. Um, so you've got those choice of bases and then you've got the choice of a 10 gram or 20 gram. Well, that's if you choose the merino and stellina because the 10 gram only comes on the merino and stellina, but the rest are in 20s. And then you can choose whether you want a 10 gram or a 20 gram as well. So there's lots of choices and this is the one I've picked to keep, the 10 gram merino 24 day. I also do an option where you can actually purchase a separate full skein for Christmas day as well. Um, but I didn't keep one of those just because I've run out of time to dye any extra. So let's open one up, shall we? up my twists and turns shawl. I'm determined to finish this at some point. Don't know if I'll get it finished this year but we'll, we shall see. It's a really fun knit though so far. We just had some dinner and Adam is now upstairs looking for his Lego advent calendar from last year because he didn't actually open any of the days because we were so busy having Jensen because he was so young then. Um, so he's going to look for it. Unfortunately, he's not quite as organised as I am, so it might take him a while to find it. <laughs> oh dear. So he's looking for that, and we've got the Christmas decorations down out of the attic, ready to put up. But it is getting a bit late now. It's like 20 past nine, so we didn't have our dinner till half past eight. So I think we might just get the advent calendars, the chocolate advent calendars hung and add Adam's Lego one out and ready to look and ready to open. So we're going to do that. I've just been eating chocolate. You can tell that I've run in my tongue around my teeth because there's chocolate stuck in it. Yes. <laughs> Those are from my yarn advents. So... Um, hopefully Adam will find that advent calendar, that Lego advent calendar, so that we can open all the other advents. So Adam has found his advent calendar and it was in with the Christmas decorations. Um, we are carefully trying to open the box without tearing it, because that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Tear it. We've got Jensen here, he's all asleep. So, oh, look at that! So this is last year, did you explain? Yes, I did explain that you didn't get to open it because we were too busy with Jensen being a little baby. Oh, it's a game as well. This year's is a game, but it just looks so much better than this year's one. Anyway, number one. That doesn't make sense. You mean the current one doesn't look as good as this one, exactly. which is last year's yes. one. Yes. Yes. Perfect sense. <laughs> right, number one.
<laughs> Look at that excitement. <laughs> what is that? Adam's in his pajamas already, by the way. It's the pivot <laughs> drive sign. What is it? Be a quick build. Oh, brilliant. Number one goes there. I love it. I think I prefer this to the last one you opened, which must have been 2020. Ta-da! We've set up the advent calendars. Although, I haven't got the pole yet to hang this up on the wall, but we've put all the chocolate in it. This one's going to be mine, and this one behind me, that we made earlier, <laughs> is for Adam. So both of these advent calendars I've sewn, um, but they were from panel. I don't think they're available anymore. I've put two chocolates. Apart from today, when I haven't got any chocolates in mine, and Adam's got one, because otherwise we'd have to forfeit not having two chocolates for the rest of the advent. So I filled the rest up. Um, I'm not going to have any chocolate tonight, apart from the one I had out of Jean's advent. Um, but Adam's got one chocolate in there. So Adam, do you want to go and pick yours out? Go on then. Right. Number one. Yeah, number one. Oh, the Ferrero Rocher. You're really spoiling yeah, me. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right, let's get to the candle then, shall we? Shall we? It wouldn't be Advent if we didn't have an Advent candle. So I've picked <laughs> one up. I think we got this from the range. Um, and I've got a really complicated lighter because you have to do two different things to get it to light that up so it's extra safe um but there we go first day of advent And today I'm wearing a couple of handmade things. I've got my Frankie t-shirt on by Tilly and the Buttons. It's a raglan style t-shirt. I did modify the neckline to make it a bit lower. And I've also got um, my Black Hood cardigan on as well. So something nice and comfy just to lounge around the house in because I'm not going out. So I've decided for Vlogmas this year I'd choose a Christmas song for each day. So with my advents for 2022, I don't normally name the individual cutaways because they're all dyed as like a set. This year's theme was Jolly Jingles, for instance. Um, but I thought as part of that advent, I do a song every day as a sort of a little bit of entertainment for everybody um, that you can go away and listen to that's um, a Christmas themed song that can go with your advent. And even if you haven't bought one of my advents, it's nice for everyone to join in. So today's today's song of the day is going to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So I will pop a link to a YouTube video and, and a song on Spotify so that you can listen as well. So day one's Vlogmas is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So today I have not worn any knitted socks but I'm planning on wearing knitted socks every day for the rest of Advent and Adam has got his knitted socks on already. Have you got knitted socks? Give us your foot Adam. <laughs> These are a bit bobbly and a bit stinky. They're, they look like they're nitpicked bleachy to me but I don't want them any closer to me. <laughs> um, I will show you the socks at the beginning of the day before they start getting stinky tomorrow. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Make your Yuletide game <laughs> what you don't know is, is I'm gonna actually leave this in. <laughs> Yourself a very little Christmas now. <laughs> Okay.
Christmas memories.